Right, folks. Bit higgledy piggledy here with the Wi Fi, my old favourite. Um, the lads have had the tri lens on the first end at the minute. Paul's got the red balls, Mark's got the darker balls. And we'll see how we can uh, see how far we get before I chuck the thing out the window. Seems alright at the minute, Matt. Decent line from Mark going in here. Just got the wrong side of it. Hopefully it's uh, it's starting to settle now. Anyway, the uh, uh, we'll just go with the floor, mate. Doesn't seem to be any buffering at the minute. Uh, and the blue board going in from the floor. Mile away, yeah. Should be enough, I think. There is the lovely, the dashing John Mansfield from Harley Pro. It wasn't going any mess. <laughs> Take it all back. You not got any measures, John? <laughs> yes, oh, there. We haven't dubbed you in on the stream <laughs> or out like that. So, start again. You're busy watching the Area 2 singles final from Great Eccliffe, based in the Oakleaf Sports Centre. It's just a little four ringer, 35 and a half metres. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you know you want to do No, 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 no. I'm, I'm very impressed with all of your facts that you've written down there. On me, on me the back of a fag packet. <laughs> nice green to play on this one. Really fast, big swinging. I always think it's a, it's a shorter green that it is. I, I always think it's about 30 metres or something, it just looks a short. I don't know whether it's in a close with yeah, the walls being so probably, close. Yeah. So we'll see what that was. <laughs> Come on, John, get your lollipops out, man. Get your lollipops out, wherever he was at. <laughs> three, three, three. Take the ball first end. Three from the marker. <laughs> You wouldn't have lollipops. Yeah, Either one lasts very long if we had lollipops, I'll tell you. <laughs> Paul, of course, fresh from his potter's exploits, mate. He is. Himself in the past. So he enjoyed it, and he's our guest on our latest podcast. Yeah, he said he was. Uh Loving his ball since he's come back, he can't get enough. I'm the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Are you tired now, mate? I'm getting enough. Was that it? I'm going to retire for another two years. <laughs> <laughs> Toys is out, I've had enough. <laughs> An opening ball in the second end from Paul. Mark just great lines, dropping a touch short. <coughs> if anybody watching can just drop us a little comment, just let us know that everything's running smoothly, it will be appreciated. Seems to be okay. Oh, there's a man on the pitch, there's a man on the pitch. 
<laughs> I think it's all over, it is now. <laughs> They'll do out to get on the stream, some people will have Barry Atwood, lad. <laughs> Pressure of the cameras, that's what it is. I suppose it could have been worse, he could have had his top off and ran out of the middle of the green. <laughs> over the pace, struggling a bit with the pace these first couple of ends. Mark Ralph rubbing it in, all good watching from Mexico. <laughs> Alright, for summer. God, I don't know, you, have you not got your comments over there? Oh, there Come on, there, man. Keep there up. There. Thomas says it's spot on now, that's great. Hopefully it uh, stays that way. We have got Davy standing on his chair with the uh, the router in his hand. <laughs> Afraid to move. Afraid to breathe. Still see you, Mark, aren't you? Very close. Is down? No, oh, just over again. I've been thinking about me build up all day for the match, you know, and Wi Fi spoiled it all. <laughs> Deflated. <laughs> totally. I'm, I'm going to get it in there at some point, though. <laughs> so. so, what's your thoughts on the game, Ahmed? What, uh, what's your predictions? Well, I think it's whoever gets off to a good start. I'll go for both. <laughs> Why? <laughs> One of them. <laughs> oh, going quick. Oh, going quick. It doesn't look too bad. Needs to get a good contact. Ooh, and he has got a good contact. Probably made second with that. Maximum result, really. For his run, he was in the area. First two balls, mate, I think. That's, that's going to decide this. Definitely, game. yeah. Just the one. Just the one. That was just the one. If Daniel Hubbard is watching, can't you turn the sound off? Your dad's complaining. <laughs> from Paul. Yeah, he certainly settled on the uh, speed of the green quicker at the moment. Mark's just fishing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Good opening ball from Mark. Be happy with that. Quite a quick green this as well, isn't it? It's very it? quick, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Lovely, it's a lovely green to play on. It's one of those greens that's getting down to its um, bare bones. It's probably due to renewal. You can sort of see the marks on the green are quite... It seems quite a thin carpet. And you've got to chuck the ball in, aren't you? Yeah, you have. You get, uh, you get killed if you go tight on it. Well played. Good balls. Yeah, well played, Mark. Mm -hmm. 
Paul just playing a little chaser here, looking oh, to turn the ball away. Could be a controversial moment coming up here, Matt. It's me and you trying to get over our potters in food intake. In the Hartlepool contingents have got about 18 packs of chips. Mr Hartley's just played an absolute cracker there, hasn't he? He had a little timer there and just lifted the ball up onto the jack. I think it was, and he's now got a, a back toucher sitting at the moment. So the red ball in between the two blue that we can see. Jack stuck on the back of that one. Time one. He's in the area again. He needs to hang that. Ah, he's, he's away with the wash. It's gone quick. Craig, it's flown away. Change in this match is 21 up, and there's no re spots. Would you go for re spots in this competition now? Mm, yes, I would actually. So it's again, Paul. No, oh, good boys. Oh, Paul's really settled well into this game so far. Um, I'm sure Mark will be hoping that Hartley doesn't get too much jam, and uh, Paul will be hoping that Higgins doesn't play like it, I reckon. I told you I've been thinking about yeah. that all day. I know you've been working for that all day, haven't you? It's unbelievable. <laughs> I wanted to say that much. I was even going to write it down, but I've remembered it. You've been thinking about that in the car all the way down, haven't you? <laughs> unbelievable. Mm, must be a little bit risky for him to play the runner again if he's. He doesn't look good on the line. He needs to get down if he's up. Is he up? Catching the front, I think, is he? One out. I'm going to look for the second. John, I'm going to get down on his knees again, lad. Yeah, he settled. He settled very quickly. Mark just querying the length. Yeah, all fine. Start again here from Paul.
Good strength from Mark A. Just missed his, missed his line by a ball or two. Do you think the pace of this green is the equivalent of Shields, mate? I think this is quicker. Do you, you think this is quicker than yeah, Shields? Yeah, I think it is quicker than Shields. Yeah. More importantly, is it quicker than my green at Horton? Oh, it's, I mean, it's certainly running quicker than four seconds. <laughs> By the time by the time one ball comes up on this rink, you've got to chucked up eight on you as gone to the toilet for a break. <laughs> Good shook hands. <laughs> First of three alley finals for Mark. He's in the triples. Pairs and triples, I want to see. He's in the family pairs, I believe. Family pairs, triples, singles, and a well played pot. He's having a cracking season. Of course, he's part of the Hartlepool Denny Cup squad as well. Who's into the semi finals after the win the other weekend? Definitely. Flying, absolutely flying. Mark trotting after this one, which generally means he likes it. It's not bad. Does he get back down in time? It's very close, yeah. Can he get it? Uh, oh, well played. Great ball, well played. Well, Paul's on a decent line. To get back inside. No, just over. And from that view, mate, Mark's lying one. And four inches, I think, behind the white. He's made the three or not? Definitely two. Made the two out. Oh, poor John on his knees again. Yes. for that front one here. Yep. Two it is. <coughs> Big settling then for Mark that one after just having a little bit of a struggle early doors. Yeah. Two, three cracking balls there. Paul didn't play a bad end at all. 
that big, big boat that pulled the white around the corner. Was it was a cracker. Uh, and the fact he chased it and liked it means he's, he's starting to get a bit more comfortable with the pace. Hook at the end. Yeah. Tell you what I've got at the minute. You know when you, you know when you accidentally catch your gum in a certain place, and then every time you, you move your teeth, you catch it. It's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gaffling here while the early balls are going up. Well played there, Paul. But I've caught it three times already. And I almost look like I'm suckling lemon. <laughs> I was wondering what was whistling. <laughs> it's nothing. Anybody got a bit chewy? A bit chewy sticking in the wall. Yeah, get a bonjella or something out when I get it. Bonjella. <laughs> there, 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 son. <laughs> here you see some things on balls covered with bonjella. <laughs> Could be a baller called Bongello anyway, couldn't they? <laughs> Nowadays. Italian. Italian. Right. Hey, just put a yard on Bongello. <laughs> first. Mm -hmm. He's chasing this again, he likes this again. Did you get it? Yeah, no, got on top of your balls, great of it. Paul will go down the narrow line here, get into Mark's ball or turn the jack away himself. Certainly on the narrow line. Don't think he's bad here, you know. Very close. Uh, great ball, well played. I might say a bit of a quick ball here. No one nominating. Are you going early? Well, I don't know the way. Where oh, Paul's oh, oh, straight on the splinters. Yeah, Paul's put his last ball. Well, well I don't sure. know. I don't know. I think you'll go quick at this. Went to the Mavis. I don't really know. <laughs> Checks in the post. Yeah, it's close if he gets down. Oh, he's teaming in now. Very close to blue ball. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think he's any worse off, is he? Yeah, I think he's just a one net. It's a cracking effort, mind. Yeah, I've got Paul's second ball away, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Our old mate Mally there, where's the other four rings? You can tell he's from down south. We only afford, we only afford four rings up here, mate. Skin, look at yeah. you. You've seen our Wi-Fi efforts that we've got. 
<laughs> Got a donkey out the back there in the bloody electrics. <laughs> This isn't a league game, they've all just come in for a warm. <laughs> Soup with a bun. I've had to park in the horse and cart spot because there was no car park in the space left. <laughs> oh, what a fall. So, 6-2. Four quality rings though, I might add. I think all four rings are pretty good on here. One night to be playing the ditch hands. Hmm, definitely. Unless you've got, um, what are they? Taylor VS's. Dreamlines. Very swingers. VS, very swingy. Cracking line again here from Paul. Great opening ball. Paul, a former Hartlepool player, mm -hmm. remember for many years. Then you enticed him over to Shears, a couple of curly whirlies and a chop and a fudge. That was the contract. Switch from Paul. Great line from Mark with his first. He'll just be looking to ease a yard out of his first ball. He's certainly gone deep. Certainly got the first bit right. Second bit's the same as his first. This just needs to run. Looks a bit shy to me. Good enough for a point. Tell me, we're shy. He's a foot. Yeah, well, Mark. Play similar to what he played up this you know, last time and down the back and into the jack. Or is he just going on a draw? Sticking with the draw. Good evening, Mr. Seaborn. Yes, we're both very well, thank you very much. The young Dan from one of the Champion of the Champions. It's semi final, wasn't it? Yeah. Beaten by the eventual winner, Mr. Royal. Congratulations. Congratulations just to, to Catherine Redden as well. Yeah, she did indeed. She's event. banged another one. She's got a few of them now. <laughs> Mark made the right adjustment weight wise, but he just missed his line. I'd be surprised if Paul doesn't go for cover here, mate. Yeah, definitely. Anything top side of the blues, I would say. Well, that's a tighter line than I expected. Yeah, he think was covering. If it's a cover board, it's a. He's going to have to uh, 
Doing a lot. We'll have to dive down quick, mind you. Oh, he's played a crack, huh? But there's only one shot Mark's going to be playing. Think it'll be addressing this? Oh, I don't think it'll be bending much, put it that way. As long as he's as long as he's higher than that front red middle ball, then he's uh, he can't not get a result. He hands full weather. I've got a concern for the fella measuring next door. Yeah. He's controlled it. He's good, you know. Well, he's very oh, close. Nice. 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 Bad contact. Oh, um, could be four down here. It's a shocking I result. I thought he'd have gone very quick at that man. Oh. All, all, all yeah. the benefits was going through that quick. I don't know whether it's a reluctance to unloose and to lose his pace. I just think that was crying out of the hit. So, four on the board, takes Paul 10 to 1. Start again from Paul, just pulling up a touch short. Good opener. Yeah, great ball from Mark, well played. Good evening, Gillian. Yes, we're both doing great. Thank you very much. We're uh, both enjoying our Zumba lessons since we got back from Potter's just to lose a few pounds. <laughs> I've got much better hip movement than Richie, though, I've got to say. <laughs> yeah, well played, Paul. Great reply. What do we say? Well, after the full Ignitions have gone cold, cold turkey, I'm now sick of cold turkey. <laughs> I'm looking for somebody else to go on now. now. Straight in, Martin, He's scratching around now, yeah. isn't he? <coughs> Keith Miller's watching from Dubai. Dubai. Very nice, Keith. Are you ever in this country? <laughs> Every time you tell us you're watching from a different country. for the back blue one. 
I was looking to float it out and uh, just to rest that back blown and that might make the fork. Now down to his pace. It's coming down. I'm out of it. Paul likes this. He needs to finish. Oh, just round the bar. Just give it a try. Now if that's maybe just protected marks a little bit now. If we can possibly just arrive a little bit more into this. Without the danger of flicking his own ball away. He's just the one. Yeah, yeah. So what, eleven to two. Still plenty in this game yet, I think. There is. Mark's just taking a little step off the back of the green there. Paul's gone a little bit longer with this track here, mate. I think that's about a yard longer than what he was playing. Do you think? Uh, I think it's a bit longer than that. Is that ball to the line on the ring? Oh. What do you mean? Uh, I don't know, just indoors you, you didn't need to ball to the line on the ring now, do you? You've got to go wide or you've gone under it. Yeah. I think it's. I suppose it depends what you use, I suppose. Yeah. With your tour lights. My tour lights, <laughs> Me park woods. <laughs> <laughs> there was a thing on there. I think it was on the Paul's International Facebook. You see that the, the thing where the kid eyed the ball and he, he was facing sideways. I don't know whether they'd done some magic with it. <laughs> it actually bent, bent the half the half the width of the grade. They put some lead in it. And there was some in it, man. The steward's inquiry, I tell you. <laughs> Would keep it back. That that one is a special ball in the pairs. You know, he'll never draw around that. <laughs> Not only that, he drew around next door's head and all. I got uh, I got an email from Sunland Council on Friday saying uh, we've just had a clear out and we've got six sets of balls that would like to donate to a club. So he was perked up and thought, oh, yeah, I wonder what these are. Lignum bite these one, two, three, four, five. So they're about 90 year old. Gonna <laughs> get them or put a competition on? I'd love to do that, you know. I'd love to have I'd love to have a competition where everybody uses big swinging balls. Lignum bite, you'd be all coming off his bad shoulders, wouldn't they? I started I started with a set of lignum bite, it was the smallest balls I could find. They were lovely. I started with um, number 56 and 57 park balls. They were the wooden, the wooden ones. Wooden ones. That's oh. what I tried. Eh? Yeah. Oh, you mean all oh, right? <laughs> the council right, park ones. Right. You not remember them, mate? I think this was the ones I was offered in this email. <laughs> yeah, great ball here from Mark. Ah, well played, well Mark. Well played. That'll do wonders to. Sat themselves down. I think the only time you see them balls now mate, is on uh, the repair shop where they've drilled them and put a clock in it. <laughs> Just 
sideline and I'll run wrong by his clock. <laughs> we'll have to get a market stall off. God, I'll tell you what. Pierce ball, I'm I don't not know sure he's, he's got up. it. I'm not sure he's up. He hasn't finished. I'm mm, not sure he's up. Ah, you're all right, mate. Never, never in doubt. Was three inches short. Never in doubt. Don't your pace mark. So come back. I don't think it. Didn't think he was up. But he's going to run all night. I think. Just not quite up. Do for a change of length. So eleven to three. You can't see it on the cameras where you're watching from, but Mr. Hartley's drinking out of a bottle that has a Darth Vader's head on. And if you didn't know what it was, looking from a distance, it looks like something you get out on summers, I'm telling you. <laughs> I've just got my eye on it. <laughs> Bottom end, I'm going to check to see if the battery's in the bottom. <laughs> uh, I better start from there. Yeah, very good. Oh, from Paul. Mm -hmm. Mark didn't like it or not. Doesn't look too bad from here. No, just not quite up. I knew it wasn't there. Whereas this one, I always tell when he follows. Any she blows. Yeah, shot ball. Yeah, cleared. Still room there for Paul. Drop under. Dropped away, I don't think he's got it on length. Marks him with a quick look here. <coughs> look at on the camera there, that could be close. <laughs> Thank you. 
Touch on the jack here, you wouldn't go amiss for Paul. Chance of making a little three, possibly. Oh. Certainly on a good line for it. This as well, he's stalking it. Any touch on this jack's got to be good. And the stand on. Certainly the shot. This could be another job for Mr. Mansfield. Put all that on his knees he's again. He's there yeah. again. Yeah. No, he's just recovered from uh, a bad leg injury a few years ago. He did, yeah. It's going back to it again. You would have just kicked one out, wouldn't you? Yeah. Right. Two to pull. Two to pull. I don't think Mark's won a measure yet, has he? longer than the last end. That's just gone over that same. <laughs> Finding this line well, Paul. He's close again, eh? Yeah, well played. First ball in the main has been very good. Should have had somebody walking up the side saying that the 27 and a half meter jack. <laughs> mm. Or shall we just guess? We'll just guess. Um, 20. It's 35 and a half minded to take. Well, it's 35 altogether, so we'll take your two twos off, so it's 31 and a half. Three spots up. Pythagoras, pi r squared. Twenty-seven meters. <laughs> That'll do me. <laughs> I don't think they're meter spots, are they? So uh, I confuse us a bit. No, it looks, it looks a bit longer than a meter spot. Quick that hand. Go oh, quick. Oh, try. Oh, cracking of it. It's always going away. I think Paul's qualified in the singles before, mate, hasn't he? A few times, maybe? Last year, I think, I believe. Yeah. Sam Todd, I beat him in the semi final. I thought he had a good run. 
I'll keep your eyes. I think if Mark's successful, it'll be the first first time he's qualified in the singles. Yeah, right there, well, I'm calling this one again. This is a backhand runner all day long. I wouldn't be timing it because it does hang down that backhand, if I remember rightly. I think I'll be going right through this. Yeah, certainly quicker. He looks under the night. I think his next one will be Sewell. Yeah. I, think he's, uh, he's, I think he might be at the stage where he's, he needs to let one go. Yeah. Let one go, get it out. Paul well, should just go all the way around here, do you think? Oh, yeah, he's, got the, he's got the furthest back, so he doesn't really need to. Just draw right back and right in there, get centre rink. Not a mile away from it, neither. Oh, just not quite. Paul just popped into the table to pick up his phallic water bottle again. Be gentle with that helmet. Can we go quick out of this time? I don't think this, this one's going to be quicker. You think? Yeah. Totally wrong. Nice. Now this hangs. Try to play it clever again. This hangs. This will not get back. It doesn't get back. No. I remember it. I haven't played on it before. It does not get back. That's why you've got to walk quicker. Now two on the board for Paul. 15-3. Good evening, Sheila. Yeah, we uh, just fancied a run out. Got to bring me dad out. Watch the balls. <laughs> Care room. So let us out for an hour. So what was the biggest margin that you've led by and lost, mate? Oh, great. That's a question. Hmm? Uh, oh, I've never. <laughs> I've always seen them off, he says. It's usually me having to catch them. <laughs> I think mine was when I was about 16 year old. I was playing for Sullivan in the Champions League. Champions of Thornaby. I was stuffing this fella 15 3. Got to be 21 15. Unbelievable. It's a good question that one, isn't it? Like I say, I've always, I've always sort of been a stronger finisher than a starter, so I've come back from a few um, deathly places, mind. Yeah, I've got the ball from Mark. There must be somebody out there who's come back from 20 to 1 down to win 21 20. I think one of the biggest high profile comebacks I've ever seen 
was, I think it was Greg Moan against Robert Paxton in the final of the national singles. And I'm sure Paco was absolutely hoarsing. Anybody listening who remembers this game, I'm sure Rob got stuck on 20 for multiple ends and lost 21 20. Oh. I'm sure it was against Greg Moon. Anybody remembers that, just drop us a comment. But I don't, can't remember what the score was, but he was miles ahead. And if Paco was watching, sorry. <laughs> Let's just get over it. Paul's playing a little bit of a toddler, yeah? Kind of oh, he's very close. Ball. Oh, he's played a cracker. Oh, well played. Give him off plenty of room to draw, but he's, he's made him have to play it. Wayne Bailey saying, I think he, he thinks he was 24 or 26 up in the national final and lost 21 20. Thanks, Wayne. Oh, he's actually, he's saying it's Les Gillett. Not a straight, a straightforward draw, mate. So you don't know what it's going to do if you go extra, extra wide. Just needs to be good pace, doesn't it? Needs to be good pace, and I'm not sure he is. I think he's quick, mate. He is. He's flying. Oh, Mark. If it's quicker out there, but another two on the board at least, I think. So it was, mate. Two penalty kicks there. Well, like you say, Paul, Paul played a crack at after make Mark play it. But, uh, fully expect all Mark's quality to draw that. The thing is, when you're just not feeling it, you're just not feeling well, it. The, yeah. the thing is, as well, mate, the pace of this carpet, if you if you don't get on it, it's a hard one to, to get back on, so to speak. It's, Paul's just rolling this chap within a yard, yard of each other every end, and he's um, he's been comfortable since the first end. Mark hasn't played badly, mine at all. To be no, fair. no, Paul's he hasn't. just played very good, solid balls. Great opener again. He's done this every end this way. I have to say, mind you, Paul's probably cut Mark's line in half mm -hmm. up this way. He is, yeah. Watch, I mean, watch this ball coming Paul's up here. using Tiger Pros, Mark's using Aces or Internationals, I think. Required from Mark A. You should get back all of this. Get all the same, mate. Mm, I'm not. Don't think it's quite that. Still want a Paul looking from here. Brian's just confirmed he's using an international, so they are going to be a much bigger swinging ball, which they're obviously proven to be. <laughs> he's on a decent line again, I'll down to his pace. He needs to run, he needs to run because that'll cut quick again. Right up.
it's a frustrating place to be when it's you just I mean he's putting plenty of balls within that two foot radius but he's just not nailing is he? Yeah. That's why I thought it might have been worth just letting one go just to I think the four early in the game was a was a a big end. It was a killer of a four that really at that time. Well, close to, close to Mark's ball here, this, I think. Uh, he's yeah, played it perfect. Yeah, he's yeah. played it perfect. Well played. Result in the area. Nothing else but a draw for Mark. No. Not a mile away, Mark. Just needs to run, mate. Needs to ah, run. He's all over the line again. He's just lacking a, lacking a foot. situation where I'd, I'd generally say you set yourself a target try to get five try to get the eight I mean, I know it's double figures for me it's a good game to win it's a three eight from now on isn't it really it's not expecting to win I expect Paul to see the game out but if it clicks for Mark you never know yeah Through the film, I thought. Should be a point, I think. <laughs> Got a line from Paul here. Pierce required. Yeah, he's crossing that blue ball. <laughs> oh, Mark's still hanging on. Oh, Paul's in the area again, needs to run. Last ball, John. Oh, that's the winner. Down the other hand for, for Mark. Oh, Mark. Are you going to 
get out. One to pull. So, 20 to 3. And it's quite the weight. But I'm here all night. <laughs> Said, good if Mark Ma Ma comes back from this, we could be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like you said earlier on, he hasn't really played bad. He, he hasn't, hasn't played no, as he well as he wanted to. He'll be, he'll, be, he'll be killing himself inside. I know Mark will be really frustrated. I think days gone by, you would have seen the, the balls flying up here. He's, he's sort of like kept his head down. One thing it's hard to do is fluster Paul, he'll just continue to roll his balls in there. And Mark's done a million miles away here, just needs to run a touch again. It's, that's all he sort of struggled with most two, all the game. Two wasn't feet, it? isn't it? Yeah. He's like two, two feet short. Been getting a decent line, I like you see, just, just that two feet, man. Yeah, yeah. See, this for me now in this position, Mark's just got to just got to rip through this. Yeah. Missed with this one, so you, you just go again. You go for you go for the kill no, now, are you? To, yeah. got to. Nothing to lose. I thought he would have done that about six or seven ends ago, yeah. just to free his arm, get a bit of tension out of his arm. Thomas Pope's just said it'll be the best comeback since take that. <laughs> just have a little bit of patience, Thomas. You might say I really like my fire in a second. God, you've Diddle it, diddle it, do it. Don't you're all night. Need to well, plant, Mark. The kill, I think. Oh, that was not the result. He will have wanted the kill. Gives himself a chance. I'll just kill the cameras. <laughs> Everybody gets got off. It's got off, the iPad's got off. <laughs> See where the old. Uh, Chat is Paul Lyon two by the looks of it. Paul Lyon three. <laughs> There's a ball on the rink which you can just see. I think that's a canny little guide. Yeah, he's very close. He is. Just needs to get back for good. Uh, <laughs> we wasted an old far <laughs> like you, that one, isn't it? We wasted it. <laughs> <laughs> John just going up to have a look at this. I don't know if he's going to be able to make the decision himself with his eyes, but. I 
I might think it's out. Probably gonna have to get a string on it, I think. Oh, the tension. The tension's palatable. Yeah, the fish in line, I would take my belt off like, but I'd sort of probably just not stretch that far. Gives me at least another five minutes to get a few more tears. That song's in here, I'll tell you. <laughs> anyway, no one you want about his uh, his drinking and implement. Let's see if we'll get it right. Look at the casual Mr. Hartley there. There you go. Unbelievable, look at that. Looks even worse from a distance. 29.99 and all good and summer shops. Really right. Oh, oh, oh got, got the old mirror out here. Oh, I've got, yeah, got everything here, man. The instructions with it. Oh. Yeah. Is there any instructions? I oh, just put it right in the centre of where the line is and have a look underneath your legs and see if the edge is up near the. Uh, something like that, anyway. That's what I was told. And then someone else watching this, he'll be having, maybe doing his thing around. <laughs> I pretended I did. Honestly, uh, I thought you just stuck it on the line and had a look through. And should be able to get the angle of it so you can see the other mark up the top. Yeah, you just need to find the angle for the so margin. You just can't. Marks, marks, anything to tell. Send it further up, that's a little bit like that. Yep, balls out. No pressure, Mark, you've just got 15 yards to beat. <laughs> Concludes the training for uh, Bumpy's course. How to use the mirror. <laughs> so. Be staggered if this is not shot here. Yeah, we're in. We go at the next end. Tee to tee. Well, not quite tee to tee, but two foot short of tee to tee. Probably the longest of the night, mate. No, easily. By a country mile. Good steady start from Mark as well. Not a bad start.
supply from Paul in short. He's going a mile out there, isn't he? He is. Didn't get enough on me, oldest. <laughs> to run uh, about four foot. Mm, it's a tight line on his last. I think he is as well, mate. He's going to do well to get past Paul's, I think. Needs to break. A million miles away. No, oh, he's played a cracker. He played. So, well, it's either one or the other. He's either going to rip through this or try and beat Paul's two back balls. They look about, what, 12 inches through? Yeah. Still room there for him. On his second line, so he needs good pace. But his line's perfect. He stopped, so I think he thinks he's up. He needs to get a grab. Yeah, he's so up. I think he's wrong. Well, yeah. can't take away from Paul and say that the score doesn't reflect the game because Paul was very solid throughout. But Mark will be frustrated because he didn't play badly. He just. Yeah didn't take just some just of the chances he needed to hit didn't get the, didn't get the grips with it mate did he? he didn't really? no he was always just dotting around that sort of 18 inch mark wasn't he yeah yeah well folks thanks very much for watching um sorry about the early wi-fi problem congratulations to paul artley commiserations to mark higgins before you go uh, we our old mate uh, dan todd is raising phones for the dda he's a quick promo if you've got any shackles down the back of the the sofa and feel free to give, okay? Thanks, folks. Let me introduce you to Dan Todner. Dan has been bowling for over 20 years in the Sunderland area. He is the latest addition to the DBE Bowls Buddies family. In 2023, Dan will be running in the Great North Run for the 10th time. He is raising funds for the Disability Bowls England. So if you have any loose change or money down the back of the sofa, be a star and donate it by the crowdfunder page. The link will be provided shortly.